On behalf of the government of the Republic of China on Taiwan, I would like to extend my warmest welcome to each one of you joining with us to celebrate the 106th National Day of the Republic of China and the 34th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations with the Federation of St. Christopher and the Nevis. In 2016, the people in Taiwan elect their first female president, Chai Ing-wen, in the history of the Republic of China. In her first year in office, President Chai has steadfastly transferred Taiwan's economic structure, strengthened the social safety, and realized social fairness and justice, while aiming to enhance national prosperity and the people's well-being. Taiwan has also strongly committed to foster regional peace, stability, and prosperity. The Republic of China on Taiwan is a democratic and diverse society with a government that works for the welfare of the people. The government of Taiwan adheres to public opinions and the democratic principles, respect historical facts and the ex existing political status quo, pragmatically manage cross strait ties and establish a consistent, predictable, and sustainable relationship with the mainland China. In her inaugural address on May 20, 2016, President Tsai emphasized that Taiwan will be a staunch guardian of peace and the work to maintain peace and stability in cross-strait relations. Taiwan will demonstrate her sincerity and determination as we keep our door open for communication and consultation based on a mutual trust and cooperation. Confronting with various challenges, President Tsai and her government embraced the new thinking to adapt to fast-moving and uncertain development worldwide. As a democratic and a peace-loving country, Taiwan has enthusiastically shared the common values of peace freedom, democracy, and human rights with our allies around the world. Participation in international organizations serves as an important way for Taiwan to contribute to the international community. Taiwan adopts active and pragmatic attitude in pursuing the participation at the United Nations and its affiliated organizations and the mechanisms, which include in the WHA, ICAO, Interpol, the ILO, and the UNFCCC. Taiwan took part in international collaboration on emerging issues of global concern and fulfilled our international responsibilities as an invaluable cooperative partner. As a responsible member of the international community, we read we are ready and willing to make a meaningful contribution to world peace and the prosperity. In response to Taiwan's international participation, the government of St. Christopher and the Nevis never hesitates to extend your staunch support. Two weeks ago, at the general debate of the 72nd United Nations Assembly, Foreign Minister, the Honorable Mark Brantley, had delivered a strong message in highlighting Taiwan's meaningful participation at the international arena. In May this year, the government of St. Christopher and the Nevis had, had extended the substantial support for Taiwan's meaningful participation at the World Health Assembly. The government of the Republic of China and on Taiwan would like to extend our sincere gratitude to the Federation of St. Christopher and the Nevis for your continuing support. In past 34 years, the Republic of China on Taiwan and the Federation of St. Christopher and the Nevis had conducted various cooperative projects. The purpose of these projects are enhancing human resources empowerment and increasing the welfare of Kitishin and the Nevision. In order to shorten the development divide and increase the good of Kitishin and the Nevision, these cooperative projects have been directed into four themes in past three years. The first theme is the information and the telecommunication technology. 
Currently, the building up of the hospital information system at the Joseph Franz Hospital and the Alexandra Hospital are nearly finished. The renovation of information and the communication technology center is concluded. Besides those, at the beginning of the next year, this embassy and the Ministry of Just Justice and the Ministry of Communication will cooperatively introduce the Land Administration Information System project. The land registration records in St. Kitts and Nevis will begin to e transfer into the digital storage in coming years. The second is the medical and the public health. Starting from the last April, Ministry of Health and this embassy have introduced the capacity building projects for the prevention and the control of chronic kidney disease. When the project is accomplished, we expect the Joseph Franz Hospital and the Alexandra Hospital can build up the full ability in treating patients of a chronic kidney disease and the prevention education be introduced to the primary school in St. Kitts and Nevis. At the same time, this embassy will work with the government of St. Christopher and the Nevis to strengthen the medical ability of regional hospitals and the health centers. The third thing is the vocational education. Currently, this embassy has worked closely with the Ministry of Education to sign a cooperative vocational education agreement. In coming years, amid the demand, vocational training system is expected to be introduced for the adult and the high school graduate to learn the living skills. And the fourth theme is the quality agriculture. Our agricultural cooperative project is no longer just to help grow the single crop. The Ministry of Agriculture and this embassy are working together to help the kitchen and animation farmers to upgrade the quality of the crop. Currently, the vegetable, fruit, and upland crop quality and safety improvement project is under implementation. When this project is scheduled to finish at the end of this year, a new agricultural project enhancing agricultural adaptive capacity of the climate variability project will be introduced to succeed the current one. As the, the climate change seems inevitable, we can provide different options for the farmers in St. Kitts and Nimes to adapt the extreme weather. I trust that through our dedication to the people and the government of the St. Christopher and the Nimes, we can win a true friendship from you. At this moment, I would like to extend my sincere thanks again to all of you for your presence at this joyful event and your support to the Republic of China on Taiwan. I wish each one of you enjoy a pleasant evening. I thank you.